Yeah, yeah. What, what, what is the call that? What? What is the? What do you call this one? ICF. ICF. Yeah. Uh. All right, YouTube. Okay. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? We doing a, a monopore. Uh -huh. This is what's gonna be a monopore. We start laying the ICF now. It's exciting, eh? Things going very fast. Uh, uh, Corey, Corey is like uh, a machine. It's an extremely hard worker. Uh, it's not like me. I used to when I was doing this. I did it during COVID, uh, and maybe. Uh, I was going maybe like 10% uh, of the speed that he's going uh, So but he's done a lot he uh, Yeah, he did all these uh, horizontal uh, rebars him, him and, and then Tahir helped him big time. I gotta remember Tahir. I keep forgetting your Tahir it's, it's Right, I was I was at work yeah. and these guys Tahir and and uh, Corey have been doing good but Co I mean, Cody is the lead, right? What has yeah, to happen? Yeah, yeah. Tahir is just helping show him. Me and already yes, did yes. It. Already, it, but it bo both of three, you guys uh, are doing a great days? job. Yeah. Yeah, Tahir, you're learning how to build a house. Your goal is once you learn from I'm here, gonna build, you're going to build your own, own house. house. Yeah, yeah land right. and everything. Yeah, I will. You're going to keep going, inshallah. Okay. So, um, Tahir and uh, Corey, right? They build these horizontal ones. One of the mistakes that we did, a little bit of mistakes, uh, I mean reading the plan right so he doesn't have the plan printed out uh, we read the plan from the phone and I picked up that uh, actually huh? which position what do you mean uh, the, uh, the plan oh no no the plan the whole plan for oh, the okay. for the house okay. right is it supposed to be on paper yeah like it's supposed to be a print mm -hmm. uh but he doesn't have printed out he uses a phone like he looks oh, at yeah, it in the phone I saw, I saw, I saw. so one of the uh, the plan was this uh, horizontal uh, rebar was supposed to be 15. Uh, we started, the difference was 15 is a, this is, this is 10 right here, right? The skinny one. And then the thicker one, the thicker one is 15. So I thought I need number 10. Mostly they use number 10, but this guy, Eric, he goes overkill. And he put number 15 in the plan. So I misread that and we had to redo, not the whole, but we had a few of these placed many places and then we had to take them out. And then well, of course we'll use it for the ICF, right? And then we had to get number 15. So he got number 15 horizontal and we drilled uh, 10 inch deep, 10 inch deep every uh, eight feet. Uh, he went to get the compressor compressor broke down on him so we're gonna blow and anchor rebar every eight feet and every 16 inches is gonna be a dowels so we started we started one of the dowels okay we started one of the dowels here okay plan reading the plan like i, I have improved a lot so when i was doing my icf i didn't read really plan i just roughly put the the dowels and some places it was giving me a hard time. I had to cut these plastic ties, right? But re because I read the plan this time, it looks like the, the dowel lined up perfect on this corner, you can see. It's just our first dowel that vertically we put. Now there's another one right there. It lined up perfect, right in the center of the ICF, right? So every 16 inch, we have these dowels. The, the gap here, if you can see, is eight inch. Is a tie, plastic tie, every eight inch. So each one of these are one inch, and then there's a plastic tie. So this plastic tie holds this ICF and is used as a basically drywall stud. As you said, each one right? of these, is, yeah, it's one inch, eight inch. Oh, eight inch. Yeah, okay. two of them, sixteen inch. So, so we're placing one right in the middle, mm. every sixteen inch. Okay. Is what the plan calls for. And this has to be number 15, the dowel. Uh, and then from here on is number 10. The ICF is number 10. So just two layers uh, for now. Uh, we just lay them right now. You can see is nothing is lined up, right? Uh, it's kind of bent. Uh, we have to make sure these walls are straight, uh, plumb, and also square. The measurements have to match everywhere. And it has to 
line up. So there's a lot of tedious work has to happen. Uh, before all that though, we have to put the dowels. So the plan is we're gonna put the dowels everywhere. Everywhere we're gonna put the dowels. It's like over 300 dowels, right? It should take a day among us. For me, my role now is to show Corey how to row, do a first few rows of dowels. I will do with him, same with the ICF, and then he should be able to carry it out while I'm at work throughout the week. And then uh, we're good to go. I got, uh, I got the ICF cutter here, right? It's like a really nice one. Uh, I'm showing him about common seams. You start from the each corner, come to center. From that corner, come to center, and you have a common seam. Okay. Uh, so I'm excited to see this house uh, grow and become beautiful. Uh, he's got uh, his trailer also. Uh, we got this trailer from. He's got this trailer from the uh, the military uh, on base. They were selling it for cheap. I mean, government uh, throws uh, money at everything. They they buy stuff for uh, whatever they have projects and then that project did not go right it was said nobody was using this like for one year and they sold it they sold it at a fraction of what it's worth for and he got lucky and he bought it. it's beautiful trailer uh the difference, the difference between him and me and i don't have a trailer at my side because of it uh, i had to drive home every day and i was killing a lot of times uh, for him uh, he can stay here uh, he can stay here and uh, everything, you know, where he stays, you know what I mean? Like everything is uh, set up for you, right? Like a little bit. Yeah, he's got a, he's not using his TV, but he's got TV too. Bedroom and all that stuff. This is uh, like three, this can handle about 10 people in here. Uh, yeah, it's very beautiful. So this is my plan from Eric. Eric is the designer. Can you hold it up from my house? He needs to print out his plan. Is this your house? Yeah. Take, oh. take, uh, you move. Yeah, lay it out. Yeah, so this is my house. That is basically, uh, it's a square. Yeah. 50 by 49. And then it's supposed to be a garage here. Mm. But I may not build a garage in a long time. I gotta move on something else. But they, these are the schedules right here. It tells you how to put together these walls. Um, and I gotta be honest, uh, Eric copies it from Nadura. <laughs> Nadura uh, company. Nadura, they have all the schedules in their manual. Oh. So does Amvic. Amvic also provides all these schedules about how to put this together. The engineering schedules about, for example, uh, the window, uh, the the lentils for the window strips and lentils for the window how how they cut how they put together all that stuff um and then the rebars right like uh i also if you see this is where it talks about the rebar on the plan number 15m continuous right there i think i used for my house number 10. so the inspector did not it out. I don't remember it's a long time ago. Maybe I used number 15, but my memory serves me that I used number 10. Number 10. But the good thing for me and, and for Corey, because we go on a bedrock, we don't even need a footing. Like if I really, really wanted, uh, if I really, really like say build this house, I could really go on right on a bedrock with not requiring any footing. Footing is required when it's not like a soft soil. So it's so, so um, I know like everything is over engineered. I know that for a fact. Okay. So yeah, these are all the engineering from my house. He needs to uh, get, he needs to get a printout like that as opposed to a digital one on his phone. And then uh, hopefully we don't make any mistakes. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I never made any fatal mistakes. I made little mistakes that cost a little more money, but now, I'm so professional at this. It's crazy, like, even myself, like, when I start to put it together and like, I know this, I know this. Because I remember having stress and, and anxiety, not knowing how to build anything when I was building at the beginning. And I would overthink it in my head a lot, like, in my sleep, 
for months at a time, um, trying to come up creative solutions for my problems uh, as I come across when I'm building my house. But now I don't have any of those issues, right? Like, cause I know this shit, it's crazy how much I know, right? So, uh, so yeah, uh, one of the key things, uh, when you put your corners, yeah, you put ICF in each corner and it comes center to your common seam. Uh, you start one ICF corner, like you can see, this is the short end. And then there's on the corner, there's a long end, right? Uh, you stagger them. So if there's a short end here, it's gonna be a long end facing it. Uh, vice versa, everywhere. And you only would need to worry about the first two layers. If you got the first two layers squared and perfect, it goes all the way up. Now, this is a monopore. Uh, not that many people do it. We decided to do monopore to uh, avoid uh, any mistakes with a footing. Uh, we will transfer making everything level and perfect onto the ICF. And because when we pour, we're not gonna pour all the way, trowel anything, it's just gonna stop here. If there's any mistakes, it's gonna carry it all the way to the roof and then we will adjust everything on the top plate, which is uh, much easier to do that way. Uh, the other thing is also, um, we can uh, cut down on numbers of uh, pours, basically. And also cut down on, um, for first time, uh, we don't want to worry about anchoring, sorry, uh, building, scaffolding, all that stuff. So that's why we decided to do this way. Three layers uh, of ICF is easy for a pour. Uh, when it gets to about seven layers is uh, when it becomes a little bit challenging. Okay, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna put more videos all the time. Now that I'm building, we're building a second house uh, with Corey. Uh, and now that I'm also, I've learned a lot. I have a lot of knowledge to share. I can talk about the house. Viva? Huh? Is there any Uriya Uriya Viva? <laughs> no, Uriya Uriya. Uh, Tahir, yeah. where are you from? I am from Somali. And I am Ethiopian. Yeah. So Somali, right? Yes, Somali. It's good. We're neighbors. We are very close to each other. Uh, I come from the southeast uh, part of Ethiopia, which is essentially Somali. It's a Somali region by nature. No, uh, it's called Somali region. Where? Yeah. East, East, southeast Ethiopia is practically Somali, right? Yeah. It's a whole area like very similar to how Somalia is. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. So, and, and also we have a bunch of intermarriage with cousins. I'm half Somali by also by... Uh, uh, blood, right? So exactly. <laughs> so I'm gonna. There's a lot of intermix between us, I'm, huh? I'm going to double check for these two things. Some of them we like. It's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of loose. That's yeah, okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. As long as it's holding, yeah. as long as it's holding, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's a rough work, right? It is. Just it uh, is. It yeah, is. it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay, YouTube. Say Share, ciao. Like. Like, subscribe, ah. and uh, hit the like the like button. The like button is the most important one. Hopefully, my channel goes up uh, as I put more of these, uh, and hopefully, the algorithm will work better. Thank you. Bye.